Welcome to Danielle DeAndre's Kitchen. Today's recipe is my full of flavor Italian herb meatloaf. Keep watching to learn. My first ingredient is two tablespoons of Guidry's fresh cut seasonings. Guidry's fresh cut seasonings include onion, bell pepper, and celery. Next is two teaspoons of minced garlic. Next is four tablespoons of breadcrumbs. I have the Italian style. Next is a couple of dry seasonings. I have two tablespoons of each. Parsley, basil, thyme, Italian seasoning. Next, I'm adding in two liquid ingredients two whisk eggs, and about four to five tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm adding in another liquid ingredient. It's a beef bouillon cube that I melted in the microwave with water. Next are more dry ingredients. I have two tablespoons of each garlic and onion powder, salt and pepper, and good seasons garlic and herb dressing and recipe mix. Now let's mix very, very well. I'm almost done mixing, but is it really an Italian herb meatloaf if I don't add tomatoes? I'm going to add a half of can of petite diced tomatoes. Now let's continue to mix this inside of the meatloaf. Now let's form my Italian herb meatloaf. All right, we are now forming the meatloaf. Just like all of my other meatloaf videos, you're going to push it together to make sure the insides are meeting. And it might be a little bit longer than your pan, but it doesn't matter. Just make sure the insides are meeting. After you know your insides are meeting, then you start to form your meatloaf. And there you have it, a perfectly formed Italian herb meatloaf. Now I'm going to place my meatloaf in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 minutes covered with aluminum foil. And then I'll show you my results. Last minute off camera, I decided to make a quick sauce. It's part barbecue sauce, part ketchup, and part honey mustard. So after the initial 50 minutes on 350 degrees, I added another 30 minutes uncovered with the sauce on top. And this is my final result. Thank you so much for watching Danielle DeAndre's Kitchen. See you in my next video.